Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this WWE Mattel action figure video. We are going to take a look at the weirdest WWE Mattel action figures. Uh, we did something a little bit similar to this. Uh, we did a weirdest wrestling figures video, uh, but that focused probably more on Jack's than it did on Mattel. Uh, this one, we're just going to look at Mattel. Uh, I will put a link on screen to that other video if you haven't seen it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Did that with my good friend, Wrestle with Andy. Uh, so, uh, this is going to focus on Mattel. Uh, and we've got quite a bit to get through. So, let's get straight to it. The first pack I want to talk about is this that you can see on screen. This is the Bunny and Adam Rose Battle Pack Series 38. Uh, so the Bunny was one of Adam Rose's Rosebuds. Uh, and he got so popular, they actually made them a tag team. Uh, Adam Rose turned heel on the Bunny after they lost a tag team match. Um, and honestly, I felt like this was... Quite an interesting story, like, I feel like they could have explored it a little bit further. Uh, I don't really feel like we got the payoff from it. Um, certainly it's not regarded as one of the all-time great feuds. I don't think it ever would be, because one of them was a bunny. But, uh, it was still, you know, fun. Uh, and weird that Mattel actually made this as a battle pack. I can't believe it. Next up, we've got this. This is the Gobbledy Gooker. Sadly, this was never released. They made it. They showed it. They gauged interest, uh, but not enough people were interested uh, in order for them to make it. So um, there's w at least one out there that you can see. It's probably in Bill McKenna's personal collection now. Uh, but the Gobbledy Gooker made his debut Survivor Series 1990. They heavily teased an egg would hatch at Survivor Series. Uh, people thought, would it be Ric Flair? Would it be a brand new superstar? It turned out to be the Gobbledy Gooker. The Gooker was designed as a mascot for kids. It was meant to entertain kids, but about a month later, it had completely disappeared. Uh, of course, it would go down in uh, wrestling history. Uh, and so he has made seven, I say he, I think it's a he, uh, it's made several appearances uh, over the years, but it would have been so cool to have got a figure of it. And certainly that figure looked absolutely incredible. So real shame. Hopefully we do get it one day. Next up, we've got this again. This is made by Mattel. This is a Scooby-Doo battle pack. Like one of the figures is actually Scooby-Doo. So you get Scooby-Doo and Sin Cara. Uh, this is based on the film Scooby-Doo, the WrestleMania mystery, uh, where I think a load of superstars helped Scooby-Doo solve a mystery. I've not seen the film. I think I've got the film. I'm sure someone bought it for me, um, but I've never seen the film. I should watch it. Um, but this pack is based on it. They did make a pack that had John Cena and Scooby-Doo. That makes sense. But Sin Cara? Re I mean, I know... Probably around the time they were pushing Sin Cara, but I don't know, it seems a weird choice. Sin Cara and Scooby-Doo in a battle pack. Next up, talking of John Cena, and I have to stress this, I love this figure. This is one of my all-time favourite figures. It is the Make-A-Wish John Cena. And the only reason that it finds itself on this list is so, A, I can talk about it. Because I want as many people to know that this figure exists as possible. Because um, all the proceeds went to Make-A-Wish. It was a Make-A-Wish uh, kid that actually designed it. Um, and the reason that it makes it onto this weirdest list is Cena never wore this ring attire. Making it one of the only Mattel figures that has been made based on a fantasy ring attire. Um, so Cena actually said he was going to try and get this made. I don't think he got chance to do that. Um, it'd be really cool if he still could. Uh, but uh, yeah, this, this makes this figure really interesting. As we said, as one of the only Mattel figures that's been made uh, that's not based on an actual ring attire. Next, and we could spend forever on this, zombies, mutants, monsters, this 
There's so much to go through. There's a lot of figures here. Uh, these are three different series. They're all kind of based on that supernatural theme. Uh, I really like the Zombies series. I am a fan of that series. Monsters was a bit cartoonish. It was a bit hammer horror. It was like Dracula, Frankenstein, that kind of stuff. Um, and Mutants, I just thought, was not great. Saying that, the Brock Lesnar figure I thought was fun. Sting. I thought was good, but then you had things like John Cena, like that's, I don't even know what that is, I think it's meant to be like a metal John Cena, but even his trainers have been painted a metallic colour, uh, so that doesn't make sense, unless he's wearing metallic coloured trainers. Um, and the Stardust, the Stardust was a bit weird, because Stardust had actually left when this figure had come out, so he'd already gone, so the Stardust character wasn't even around. Um, I should imagine Cody Rhodes just looks at that one figure and thinks to himself, I was definitely right to leave. Next, we got Magnum TA. I love the fact that they made this figure, but Magnum TA was a massive, massive wrestler from 84 through to 1986. Um, he was going to be, I believe, the next NWA world champion. He'd only been United States champion up to that point. Uh, but sadly, he was involved in a car accident um, and he was forced to retire. So he only competed for those few years. And actually, this makes him one of the only figures uh, that never competed for WWE and also never competed for WCW in the 90s. He did compete for WCW in the 80s, but that was very much a different company. So that makes this quite a bizarre figure, quite a weird figure. If you think of all the superstars we've still not had figures of, how crazy we got a Magnum TA? Next up, the Create a Superstar line, and I am actually a fan of this. Not all of it, uh, but I do like the Ref Pack. Uh, I'm a big fan as well of the Night Pack. Um, and there's a few other little individual superstar packs I think are pretty cool. Like the Hogan one I think is cool. But look at this Rusev one. This Rusev one, I, I don't know if it's half man, half bear. Or if that's just like bear attire. Maybe they're like bear tights or something, I don't know. But it's a bit weird. And actually it gets weirder when you put the whole costume onto the Rusev figure. Because here you can see it with the whole costume on. It looks like a sad man at Halloween. It, it looks like he's been forced to go out trick or treating. And he really doesn't want to. <laughs> Again, Rusev never wore this ring attire. That wasn't really the theme of this Create a Superstar line. Uh, it was so you could mix the pieces apart and make your own wrestlers. Uh, as an idea, I think it's it's quite interesting. Uh, they didn't make loads, though, because it wasn't really that popular. Uh, and this Rusev has to be one of the weirdest things that came out of it. Number eight on the list, we got Miz and Maurice Battle Pack 51. Uh, you might look at that and go, that's not Miz and Maurice. Oh, yes, it is. That is Miz and Maurice dressed as John Cena and Nikki Bella. How about that? You've got... One wrestler dressed as a... Well, two actually. Two wrestlers dressed as a completely different two wrestlers. Um, this was because they were actually doing funny little segments, vignettes, in the build-up to their match at WrestleMania the other year. So we had a mixed tag match. It was Nikki Bella and John Cena versus Miz and Maurice. And of course, at the end of that match, John Cena proposed to Nikki Bella. Uh, a wonderful moment. Everyone lived. Happily ever after, I I don't think there's anything else to talk about there. Next on the list, Slam City. This was an animated TV show that had figures made of it. Um, but we've got to talk about this gorilla playset. Look at this gorilla in a cell. Uh, this is based on one of the episodes where Randy Orton was a zookeeper. And uh, I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. I actually like it. Don't get me wrong. I certainly think it's fun, but it's weird. It's definitely weird. You get Randy Orton figure. You get a gorilla figure. You get a ring 
that's got a cage around it. There's monkeys on the top of it. You can launch the figures into it. Um, there's certainly a lot to play with and there's a lot to enjoy, but that doesn't take away from the fact this is one of the weirdest Mattel playsets ever. This whole range actually was very bizarre. You had like CM Punk as well, dressed as an ice cream man. Uh, John Cena. I think there was even a garage playset. You could get a John Cena figure with a garage playset. I really feel like that Slam City stuff is a completely separate video. That deserves a video all on its own. Uh, but I had to mention it here. And the final figure on the list, I'm certainly not saying this is the only last weird item that Mattel have made, but I think we've covered all the big ones. It is the Granite Ultimate Warrior figure. What's weird about this is um, Warrior said that they could make figures of him, but he wanted exclusive figures. I think these are like one of 25s, so they only made 25 of some of these figures. Um, and this one, this granite one, I would say is the weirdest because it's obviously not based on any ring attire. Um, I, I don't know why they went with a granite Ultimate Warrior. Is it meant to look like a statue? Is it meant to say he's chiseled? I, I don't know. Uh, it gets a little weirder because there's actually text written on the back. I can read to you what it says. Um, this actually is quite nice. This is a nice message to end the video on. It says, live strong, act bold, be brave, nothing's too hard to do. Do in your life and with your life what will live forever. Always believe, warrior. That is really cool. That, like, I didn't think we were going to end this video on an inspirational phrase like that from a figure that's actually written on a figure um but this is out there well i say out there there's not many of them i can't remember if there's 10 or 25 but i think these things sell for like around that thousand dollar mark uh so super rare um so this might be the closest that most of us get to it uh but we can still enjoy it we can still enjoy that phrase uh, and live our lives by it. Live our lives like the warrior. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I see you again next time. Bye for now.